We are Tonight's Asheville City Soccer Club live stream is brought to you by Diamond Brand Outdoors. Diamond Brand Outdoors is committed to enriching people's lives by bringing the outdoor lifestyle to the communities that they serve. With locations on Hendersonville Road in the Parkway Center and in the heart of downtown Asheville on Biltmore Avenue. You can also check out their wide selection of products at diamondbrandoutdoors.com. Support for tonight's live stream is also brought to you by Fuel 5.0 Muscle Science. What began as a product in the hands of an entrepreneur, originally created for the sickest hospital patients, has become a clinically proven solution for defending the athlete's skin and promoting muscle health. Through extensive clinical research, we've discovered our unprecedented formulation with a low pH has a positive effect providing extraordinary benefit in skin and muscle issues. Learn more at www.phuel5.com. And this evening's soccer stream is brought to you by our friends at ABYSA and HFC. ABYSA Fundamental Soccer Camps are available all summer long. Full and half-day camps available for 4- to 14-year-old players. Asheville City Soccer Club players will attend camps on Fridays during 3v3 tournaments. ABYSA is the premier recreation soccer program in Asheville, serving over 3,200 Buncombe and Madison youth players per year. The on-time registration deadline for recreation soccer is June 28th. Programs available for 3- to 18 years of age. Come join a team in your neighborhood. Go to abysa.org to register. So again, we're a little late today. The Atlanta team is having some transportation issues. Oh, my bad. Scott approves. Anyways, the Atlanta team was uh, delayed, having some transportation issues. They, they stopped off at a brewery on the way here. You didn't they hear that did. part? I think they're ready. Uh huh. That was part of the plan. A little liquid ibuprofen. And then we had a beautiful storm, nice mountain rain. I'm still not satisfied with matching their color. I'm obsessing over the color of the Josh Blake Atlanta Silverbacks. Josh OCD. It's a real thing. Can we fix the um, the color shows up on the uh, the screen? It's just gonna be that. You guys will be able to tell. In real life, though, it's, it's it's the highlighter match. It is the highlighter match here. If you were here. Season ticket jersey sponsor. Highlighter Brewing specializes in approachable, balanced bloggers and nails with styles rooted in authenticity. You guys are tuned into Mystery Soccer Theater 3000. Thanks for hanging with us while we wait for this game to start. We're just as anxious as you are. I love those messages from Tom Murphy. Oh yeah. That's Tony good Murphy. stuff. Tony's gonna come visit us. He said. Tony. Sorry, Tony. I'm looking across uh, two people to see that. Hey, they're talking about us right now. So we are imavl.com, and I'm still not satisfied with the scoreboard color. Your local since 1932 provide mortgages, auto loans, and more. With this community in mind, that's almost better. Simplified with Champion Credit Union, now with an office on Patton Avenue in Asheville. Refs are getting warmed up. I need. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no no! He's sucking win now. They're, they're so pink, but like that matches right there. Okay. All right, you guys. 
I love that we have the refs on the, the camera right now. That's amazing. Yeah. There we go. I didn't have him on the There we go. There. That, that's, the one, that's, that's the one that gets you warmed up right there. With the arms. The arms. I've not I've not seen any backwards running yet. They're they need to do some backwards running. They're gonna pull what that put some muscle in the front of your leg, not your calf, the front part. I I don't know. I never had one there. What's it called? I don't know. The tibia? No. Yeah, there's some muscle right there. It's not your muscle. I'm trying, <laughs> trying. In the booth, everybody's feeling their legs. Yeah. That one mushy part right there, where I used to be able to feel it before I had ACL surgery. But part of your leg goes numb afterwards because they cut into stuff. So yeah. When was your surgery? Uh, I had surgery April 6th. Okay. Yep. Mine was October. My leg's still numb. Is it? Yeah. I had surgery about two years ago and that part is still numb. On your, so. on your knee? <laughs> you guys bit. collectively in the press box? One, two, three, five ACL surgeries, everybody collectively in the press box all from being athletic so no matter what we say about the game tonight you can know that we like to play oh my gosh what song's coming next somebody help me oh i love the fritz the fritz from Asheville, north carolina i'm one of the sickest drummers in town that's for sure i mean everybody's pretty incredible in that one all true though this is a great song <laughs> The Fritz actually are about to come out with a new album, too. We just shot a video for them the other day. Guy did. Guy Newton. Guy M A B L. You know the Fritz in our band and you all share the same uh, designer and artist? Oh, Joshua. Mark Joshua. Levy. Yeah. He's Levy's the, guy. the man. He's Let's the guy. talk about Joshua. In fact, Joshua came to my show last night, which was awesome. He was going to go to Bruce Hornsby. And then something happened, and all of a sudden he was in the middle of the dance floor. And I was like, "What? I thought all day you were saying online you're going to Bruce Hornsby. But that's just the way it is. But you chose us over Bruce Hornsby? And it made me feel really special. Until he told me all the circumstances that left me at like kind of his last option. And it made me feel less special. But that's just the way it is. <laughs> what yeah. up, Bill Thompson? Satellite Gallery. Do you see You're Bill? Not, Where's Bill? He's, he's uh, talking. Another Smush player. Another guy who plays for the most incredible club in Asheville, Smush FC. That, that club's okay. They're nice guys. They're nice guys. They're nice guys. That's not what you said last time we beat you. I, I, I don't recall that. I must have a block. <laughs> You're like, I don't remember the last time you beat us, actually. Because that might be true. It's been All right, minute. the guys are getting warmed up. Well, vocally warmed up. Wow. Um, I wonder if they're going to announce the players and do the official walk-on thing that we normally do at these games. You guys will find out as soon as we do, I guess. And now look, Atlanta has changed to white. White jerseys. Yeah. All right. That's okay because we are real time up in this piece. And you know what? White is a much easier color for me to match. <laughs> Booyakasha! Oh, that's a little green. Wait, what can, did I just... Can you go black letters on white writing? How do we just go all the way white? Ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineups for tonight's team, first of all, for the visiting Silverbacks, number two, Mohammed. Issa Haku, number four, Ibrahima Domfra, number six, Adnan Bangura, number seven, Mohamed Kamara, number eight, Abraham Lansana, number ten, Kitaro Takada, number eleven, Jao Mora, number fifteen, Abdul Rahman Bangura, number eighteen, Mitch Garcia, number twenty, Dionysus Harmon, and number twenty-four, Thomas Hunter, those are the Silverbacks. All right, Blues fans, you ready to meet your starting 11. You. 
What in the heck? From Scotland, number three, Jack Miller. Jack Miller is back in the squad, everybody. Jack Miller is back in the squad after a unfortunate red card and had to sit out the last match. Unwarranted. Unwarranted red card. Unwarranted. Midfielder from England, number six, Cameron Saul. Cameron Saul in the lineup today. From Austria, number seven, Christian Soleil. Christian Soleil, whoa, Rissa. From Cameroon, number nine, Emma and Far. Elma four. Elma four. Learn the N is kind of silent. Thomas Dealey on the wing again today. That's the Delio. Ryan Murphy, son of Tony Murphy, the tireless soccer practice driving guy. From Corona, California, defender number twenty-two, Kenny Anderson. Kenny Anderson. Cali boy. Goalkeeper from Granville, Ohio, number 23, Parker Siegfried. And from Dublin, Ohio, midfielder, number 24, Brady Blackwell. Brady Blackwell. Ladies and gentlemen, you're blue. We're happy to have Brady Black back on the field today, too. South Snoop. Brady, who also had to take a, a short exit. <coughs> You are tuned into Mystery Soccer Theater 3000, and this is about to be a heater of a match as the Asheville City Blues attempt to jump ahead of the Knoxville Force into second place by defeating the division leading Atlanta Silverbacks. Three points be huge tonight, Josh. About to get started here, everybody. It's about to happen. Sandy Boy wanted to know if that, if that was me singing. So no, that was a, that was Josh singing. Me singing? Yeah. I, I, I don't think I was. That was definitely Derek starting us off. No, that, that was Bobby. Oh. Um, what's up, everybody? We're about to get going here. Guys, wait till you see how on top of the shot clock we are this week. Not a shot Don't clock. Don't jinx it. Not a shot clock. Oh, dang. Rissa telling me I might jinx it. What, these guys have names on the back of their jerseys? That's not fair. It's all right. We have IMAVL on the back of our jerseys. And that's Elma Four sitting up top for the Asheville City Blues. Getting ready to score a couple goals for us this evening. Looks like the uh, Silverbacks came strong with the smoke game tonight. They got seven, seven fans and uh, seventy cans of smoke. Seven fans and a smoke machine. Oh, 
Scott Reese, we're busy right now. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> the answer is the right ones. And we're almost underway here, everybody. Oh, my goodness. And the crowd is excited. You can hear the South Slow Blues on the other side of the stadium from all the way over here. And the shot clock has started. But the stadium shot clock should start, too. I think that was Bobby's fault. It did jinx. We did totally jinx the shot clock, which is relatively frustrating. So we're back switching from the back up to the front into the smoke. First couple of tests looking going into the okay. city defense. Ends up in a goal settled. kick. I'm settled. Sorry. Yeah. All right. I'm going to watch the game now, everybody, and tell you all about it. That's our job. And I'm also going to stop the, the playlist stuff from happening. Big kick from Siegfried. Where is our stats guy? That is a great question. We, have a, actually, we have a stats guy? There's about an extra force. Well, we had one, apparently. Uh, but he's not here. And that's Cameron Saul, number six, trying to win the ball for us. The Blues, as Atlanta penetrates our defense. And we earned ourselves a goal kick there. Um, you know, there's a couple players, and I lost the stat sheet, but there's a couple players for Atlanta that are responsible for seven out of the last eight goals they scored. And that's uh, Jao, Johanning Mora, and Keka. 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 And um, I just want to let our friends at home know that we really appreciate you tuning in. And we also want to let our friend, specifically Scott Reese, know that we're done checking your text messages for a minute so we can focus on the game. You are blowing us up, son. Thank you. Thank you for looking after us. He has the unlimited and plan. He's going to just keep sending them. Yeah, he's going to keep saying He wants to be here, and uh, we're all sad he's he's not here. But um, we'll see you. We'll see you next time you're back, Scott. In Asheville City, Cameron Saul Big win winning the, the ball in the middle of the field there for us. And oh, oh. unlucky Ryan Murphy with the, oh. Good challenge. That's it. That's it. And this is Tom Dealey, number 10 on the left-hand side, the back playing stick. a ball into Elma, and we'll go ahead and come on, referee. A little bit of, little bit of physical play there. And the crowd is not happy about that non-call. Jack Miller with a great ball across the field and a dangerous ball in, and oh, unlucky Kenny Anderson mistimes his trap there and that's all right Brady Blackwell holding it down some good front forward play from the City Club yep I think we're gonna watch these two teams feel each other out here for the first few minutes John Nelson is with us y'all and 
He's responsible for Soccer Down Here, which is a great blog uh, that tells you all about a lot of the games that are happening in the in the region. And uh, Soccer Down Here actually responsible for our namesake, Mystery Soccer Theater 3000, um, which we're you know pretty happy to be representing and running with, to be honest with you. And John is going to come up with his crew on Tuesday and hang with us uh, at the Asheville City broadcast of our next home match. And then... That's a bad turnover. That's it, D. We are going to... Uh, I mean, somehow join them early in the morning after Funk Jam for a broadcast on zero hours of sleep. Another direct ball. Of City. soccer down here. Oh, and look at this. Christian Soleil. Get in. Yes. Oh! Oh! That's a great turn by Soleil. That's a great turn by Soleil. Yep, and that's Soleil going ahead and striking early, which is what we like to see. And I think we have our first corner kick of the match. Christian, Christian's got a score to settle here at Memorial after uh, the last game where he was unfortunate to miss a penalty kick. So he's going to want to prove it to the hometown crowd today by snagging a goal for us. And that's away by the Atlanta Silverbacks. Uh-oh. Ooh, good stop our keeper. Siegfried stays That was a great strike by number seven for the Atlanta Silverbacks, though. So Another direct ball, plenty of space. Absolutely of space. no information on the Silverbacks, so I can't tell you their names. Um, if anybody at home knows who they are, go ahead and write them in on the YouTube thing. Or have Scott Reese uh, email it to us. Something. But this guy number 20 is like six foot five, 300 pounds or something out there. He is a big dude. Yeah. I don't think Cameron's afraid, though. Cameron's been going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him so far. Oh, and Elma with a beautiful back trap that didn't work out in his favor. Room on the right side. Here we go. We're coming down the right side. And that's our captain, Ryan Murphy, distributing the ball. He's wearing the captain's armband again today, isn't he? Yep. Oh. That's it. Well done, Kenny. Winning us a corner. And for all you Atlanta Silverbacks fans tuning in, thanks for hanging with us. We may not talk favorably about your team today, but that doesn't mean we don't love them uh, as athletes and participants in the NPSL. And we do respect the fact that you guys are in first place, but we will do everything we can to change that uh, throughout the course of the season. A lot of room. Believe me. A lot of room in the middle, plenty of time. Cameron with the... Oh. Oh. A little bit of a miscue there after a couple sort of fortunate touches that left the ball at Cameron's feet. A little bit of rushing by City so far. We're feeling a little rushed, but, you know, I think both these teams are trying to feel each other out here. Um, I don't really like the way this dude number 20 is hanging out so alone over here. It's okay. Soft call on a turnover there in the... Uh, Super soft. Super third soft rest. call. <laughs> super soft. That's right. Yep. And that's Yasha Lutenschalt, our center back today. And that's an offside call. It's offside. And it's always weird when they call when they call offside when it really didn't have anything to do with the the flow of the play, but I'm not a referee. We all knew it didn't matter there, and whatever. I didn't read the book. I just yell at referees. On the reg. On the reg. Uh-oh. We've got City pressing deep. Shot from the left side. I would like to see our coach yelling at our players to get a little more organized in the back there because there was definitely... Hey, Guy Newton, look left. There was definitely a number eight... That was all alone at the top of the box there for a minute. So we got a man down there, Josh. We do have a player down. Is that the one to uh, block the ball? I'm not sure who that is. It's hard to tell from here. Tom Siri, that's our other center back. Uh oh. You want to walk out there? Here, watch. I'm going to help you. Oh, here we go. Just trying to keep our cameraman hydrated. With high wire. 
Yeah, we are getting high wire graded right now in the press box. Wow, that's hard to say. That's amazing. I know. Shot up and over. Another goal kick. All right. So far, we have more goal kicks, which I'm down with, kind of. We might need to get re high wire graded. Yeah, I might need a new high wire here, actually. Is there any more? <laughs> A little push in the back, free kick just over the midline. A lot of room over here on the left. I think there's a goal coming. And yep. the ball comes to the left. Dude, does that guy have an earpiece in? Is he listening to you? You don't. You don't know what I'm doing. And Jack Miller with the great oh, 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 the shot on goal. And that was a good look and a beautiful ball by Jack Miller, our left back out of Scotland and Wingate University. And we also had uh, Christian Soleil again with the instinct for goal, with the first touch, trying to put that in the back of the net. And I, I'm hoping that serves him well as the game clock ticks on here. And a hopeful ball forward by the Atlanta Silverbacks. That's the first real opportunity tonight. There's oh, and that's a great look. With plenty of space, coming hot. And quickly closed down by number two for Atlanta. Who's also a giant. I know, the Atlanta team looks pretty, They. They definitely outsize our team today. There's no doubt about that. But we're much more handsome and better <laughs> soccer players. Oh. Hey. Whoa, oh. That, that should be a yellow. Come on, Ralph. All of it. No, all of it. No, honest. I mean, seriously, though, you can't push a guy after right in front of the referee. That's You can't, especially after you, you, can't you, you can't Italian league fall and push someone. Yeah, exactly. Those are mutually exclusive things. I didn't know that was an actual type of fall, but I now I know that it has an actual name. Tom Dealey trying to get control of the ball out there on the left wing. Still in our defensive third. I got to tell you something I'm looking forward to. Um, Tom Dealey getting one-on-one -on -one with number four here, the right back for the Atlanta Silverbacks because he's about half his height and Twice his speed. And twice his speed and probably one quick touch and he's gone. A little bit of kickball happening out there. Yeah, there a the nice piece ball. of skill by number 20. And their names are on the back of the jerseys, but I do not have binoculars. So we're just going to say their numbers as they do stuff. But yeah, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Aaron Ball by the Silverbacks comes in. Possession by City. Not enough numbers forward. A little push in the back, but Brady still won the ball there for the oh, yeah. Kenny Anderson. Moving forward with pace, looking for an option. City's got some numbers this time, Josh. Ooh. Comes the ball in, it comes a shot, Josh. Maybe. Oh, that's Far all right, Dealey. No there. That's good, though. That's all right, Dealey. Hey, we like that. It was a positive attack from our squad with Kenny bringing it out of the back. Lots and of numbers, a good balance on that uh, counterattack there. It was. Showing that we have, that Atlanta has a reason to be a little bit nervous coming up to Asheville today. I'm sure they're feeling confident but they've also lost a couple games, so we know they're beatable. And they stopped off at a brewery. And they did. And I want to tell you something else I learned about the Atlanta Silverbacks. They are actually named after a silverback gorilla from the Atlanta Zoo. It's a fact. What's uh, his name? Uh, you know, dang it. All right, I'll look it up. But he has a name, and what happened was the zoo partnered with the people who first started the club when it was in the NASL. Um, that was like in 95 or something. But the Silverbacks do have a long history of sort of success and then like financial failure. Whoa. Dragon. Just a wasp. It's just that's a wasp. A, that's a dragonfly. A dragonfly just almost flew into Derek's eyeball. Um, but yeah, speaking of the dragonfly, I was like, you're talking about animals? But yeah, we, uh, the Silverbacks are actually, they, they were partnered with the Atlanta Zoo. It was kind of like how it sort of started. They're now known as the Harambe of the Southeast. 
I, I think that's too soon. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so uh, yes, yeah, Silverbacks. In case you were wondering, they are gorilla is their mascot, probably. If they had one, I, I, I didn't see it. But and actually, Eric Winalda was their coach for a while. For all you U.S. soccer fans, and uh, that kind of sums up the things I learned about them that I can remember. And that's all the facts you guys are getting today. That's not true. Oh, that's all the got, facts of the Silverbacks facts? are getting. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you some of the players on the team didn't even know about the, that relationship. I mean, they might know about the gorilla thing, but the history of how it all happened. So, anyways. Pressing forward, another direct ball by City. Oh! oh yes. well, skinny. That's it. Oh. That's all right. We got the That's corner. Good. Another corner kick. We'll be looking forward to more of those defensive no. errors. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Results in a corner kick. Honestly, I thought a silverback was 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 a type of uh, a type Whale? of co a type of coin. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, and you thought it was a type of whale? No, I knew it was a gorilla. Oh. Well, we know we know they're gorillas, but I didn't think that. I don't know. I didn't. At first thought, I didn't think they were named after a gorilla. I really didn't. It just doesn't seem like very much of a soccer animal. No, it doesn't. It's usually like cheetahs or, you know. I just don't think a gorilla has a deft touch. Well, my son's, uh, you know, U5 team were called the Turtles. And his older brother was like, oh, man, you don't want to be the Turtles, Turtles. But he was like four years, you know, he's so excited to be the Turtles. And older older brother's talking smack. Yep. It's not cool. We love ABYSA and HFC, but can we come up with some more sporting names for our U4 <laughs> teams, please? Because the Turtles, like, psychologically might not do good things for your players. I don't think it stopped yeah. us. It didn't. <laughs> um, that was Kenny Anderson again with an attacking run, which is inspiring. They're they're he's, giving he's they're, hungry. they're giving him space on the right side over there. So that's an impressive little burst of speed he had. Yep. We'll be looking to exploit that. And I'm I'm not super nervous about this guy number 20 over here. You guys might not be able. to. Yeah, you can see him. He's all alone on the touch line. It looks like. The instruction is don't worry about that guy. Let him just be out there. Well, hey. Elbows up there. Hey. There's a little mini water shedding there. Oh, and Elmo oh, with a great ball, ball in the space ball, for Christian. Time and ball. See what Christian can make of this. Uh huh. That's it. Oh, that could have oh, been. Have a, a shot. Almost wanted the call there on the foul. And Ryan Murphy with a great look. More time in the defense in their defensive third. Might be a handball. Hmm. Christine, thanks for the compliments. We love you, Christine. We're having so much more fun than you right now, Christine. It's not Settle even a joke. Down. But <laughs> I'm just saying, we're up here to have fun and deliver the game to you people in style and fashion. And we will also call some plays as they happen. And that rhymed. He has some goals. Oh, and that, was, that was a handball. I saw that from here. Unlucky. Looked like that was a... Uh... Tom Siri getting called for the handball there. Senora Ramos with the... Uh... She's spicy. She's fiery. <laughs> We've got some fiery people in the chat room, everybody. It's fine. A little I, flavor. That might be my kid's babysitter tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here, childless? Uh -oh. Ooh, and that's a great save by Parker Sigrid. I got to tell you, I was a little nervous when number eight got loose there. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, you know, Bobby, do you have any stats on the other players, a list of anything? Spider. Spider. It's all good. I think you're going to be safe. He's crawling away from you. But uh, you have you don't have a list from the other team? <laughs> of those guys? I have who they are. And their numbers? Yeah. Do you need that? 
Hey. All right, here we go. Here we go. We gotta send it. Oh, it's gonna be off. Uh, oh. I get it. Oh. And I, I think that was a pretty good offside trap yeah. there. By the... Yeah, we're about two steps off, but. So number eight is Abraham Lanza, who just had that uh, dangerous shot Parker saved a little earlier. And number 20 over here, Dionysus Harmon. Wow, Dionysus. It's kind of an awesome name. Yeah, somebody <laughs> was committed. <laughs> and that is, that is a pretty incredible name. Congratulations, Dionysus. He looks like he's playing right wing today for the Silverbacks. And I think number seven, Muhammad Kara. Tom Dealey with the ball right now, trying to make something happen. Sees Elma. Good ball. That's oh, a good goal. 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 We're gonna watch that again, everybody. We're gonna start right with this beautiful ball from Tom Dealey. What a ball in and what a shot. Eso. Oh, eso. And that's beautiful stuff by the hometown crowd and the fans are eating it up here today. City gets Seriously. rewarded for being uh, pressing in the Everybody's last 10 so minutes here. Excited for that one. That was Elma Four with the ball, with the goal, everybody. City one, Silverbacks nil. Are you kidding me? May I know? Did you like that, Christine? Was that something that you liked? Yes, you are clear to switch. Local celebrity Clay Elliott is very excited about that one. That was an incredible <laughs> goal, and really, it started with Tom. It started with the Dealey. Another assist for him. I don't know if that's his third or fourth on this season, and a few goals for him, too, but... You got to note that Tom Dealey has been doing a lot of work for Asheville City this season, and Elman of four with, I'm not positive, but easily his fifth or sixth goal for the team. That was pretty. Just and the it, awareness it, of Ford. Yep. The back to the and goal. And another one from right Dealey. Foot. Another great space. Lots of room in. Two lanes. Anything across is fine. This is going to be a foul. That's going to be a foul. No, I think that I think that he tried to milk milk that a little bit. You're a defender. I'm a striker. That's the way this works. And the crowd not happy about that non-call there. <laughs> but once again, we have to note the incredible vision of Tom Dealey and Nafour connecting. And Atlanta's going to be aware of that at this point if they aren't already. Dealey's just had acres of space, lots of time, and just great vision today. Head up all the whole way. I mean, that was incredible. And, uh, you know, I wasn't there, but I probably, you would have probably finished that, Derek, I, I think if you were in that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no offense, Elma. Well, you know my nickname, buddy. The other one that he scored, you would have whiffed. That You would have like probably not even hit the ball. But that What's one, your nickname, but, Derek? But, but that one right there you would have made. Always open. I'm always open. <laughs> always open. That's true. That is. <laughs> That's right, and the fans getting behind Dealey as he's orchestrating a little bit of the play on the left side. Well, I like that you called it out early that, you, that, that we were going to oh, yeah. build plays from there. I mean, their number four every, every just time, cannot hang with him. Every time Dealey's gotten the ball, he's had space so far, I feel like. And That's it. That's still really us in the middle of the field. With It looks like we have more players right now than they do. Uh -huh. A lot of space on the right. Oh, oh and a great ball in the middle. Yes. In the middle. Oh, there's oh, a foul. That's a foul. That's, that's going to be a foul. And a penalty. Come on, sir. No. Oh, it's not a penalty. It is a penalty. It's a yellow card in our player for... Uh, it's a yellow card for diving? For the ref, ref calling diving. Wow. We're going to have to review that real quick. Even without seeing the review, I can tell you that the keeper grabbed his foot. But I think a penalty might come now that there's been a couple questionables. And Elma working hard, a yellow card doesn't serve him well, but he's not really the type of player that's going to 
you know, be going in for tackles that'll get him another one. So I think we're safe. It's not like our Brady Blackwell or our Yasha. I'm enjoying the off uh, camera, off microphone. And that's great. Commentary actually. behind us, <laughs> down below us. Yeah, the fans the, down below are the fans are pretty contributing worked to the experience. Up. Yep. Oh, nope. And yep. Oh, and that's a good step by Tom Siri. We don't we don't mind that at all. And our defense looking a little more organized than they were in the first ten minutes. Um, this game's absolutely getting more chippy, though. It is, but I feel chippy. like we're finding some space. Uh oh, that was a uh, not the best touch by Tom Siri, but that's okay. We're gonna win it right back. Yes. Um, what else can we tell you? We appreciate you tuning in. We do. And it's a beautiful Saturday evening in Asheville after a six minute thunderstorm that delayed our game for, for a little bit. But let it run, let it run. Another goal kick for City. I'd like to thank HFC and ABYSA for making this broadcast possible, as well as Diamond Brand Outdoors. And Fuel. Fuel 5.0. Shut up. <laughs> That's our friend Joe, who works for Fuel. He's always at the Funk Jam. He loves some good music. He does. You know who else loves the Funk Jam is Jackson Allen over there on the bench for Asheville City. I've seen him there a couple times. Action Jackson. Hoping the whole team comes to Funk Jam this Tuesday. And the ball is out wide as Tom Dealey. Tom Dealey again, down. Josh. Here we come. Plenty of composure on the Jack ball Miller there. Jack Miller really likes to do that. And he's pretty effective when he does it. That was the second time that he was looking for Christian on the far post over there from way back here. And it looks like he's expecting that. A little bit of an ambitious ball in. Thanks, Scott Reese. Thanks, Scott. In fact, we'd like to thank all of you for tuning in and dealing with us as we deliver this broadcast to you in our own flavor and fashion, the way that Asheville does things. And that was a little bit of a miscue there from the Silverbacks. Josh, I think you are right. Our, our defense has definitely gotten more organized here in the last 10 minutes. Yep, it seems like they figured out what they need to do with who. And I got to say that the center of the pitch kind of looks like it's the spot where we have a few oh, more players. Sweet piece of skill there. Oh. Again. Still has the there ball. We go, there we go. That ball sticks to his feet, dude. Elma. Oh, oh and Cameron lucky. with a hopeful shot from out wide, unable to. Break it through. It's okay. The, these Atlanta players are already frustrated by, first of all, being a goal down, and second of all, not really building anything against this Asheville City defense. No, they have they have nothing really in our offensive third. The I mean, 10 minutes. they did have one shot uh, that Parker had to save there, but other than that. I hate when I say that and then something happens. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> and we want to give a shout out to Kieran Murphy, Ryan Murphy's brother, what up? <laughs> oh, nice. Marissa B on top of it. She is. And our, our crowd is attempting some sort of coordinated clap thing. Oh, man, that's never good. Uh, I, I know. <laughs> I think they're going to get it together, though, in a minute here. Dealey. With another. Elma and oh, Dealey again. Nice pressure. Almost connecting and winning us a throw. It's been all city the last 15 minutes. Yeah. You smell that? It's another goal coming up. 
Wow, I like that. <laughs> I was just glad it wasn't Bobby. I know. You shouldn't have been in here earlier. There was We told whoever had was farting in here, they, they had to get it out before you came in the press box. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. I live in a house full of dudes. I don't think any, my, my nose is. It's burnt out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, and that will be a goal kick? Gonna be a goal kick. And Gonna be a goal kick. Let's see what kind of boot this keeper has for the Silverbacks. You guys can see there at home, the stadium is packed. It's a beautiful Saturday night now that the rain's gone. And we are enjoying a 1-0 lead. And there are literally spiders building webs in front of the press box right now. I'm not interested in hearing about that. The crowd doesn't seem to like the referee very much. No, I think that our hometown referees are giving this referee grief right now. I think so. And I uh, just want to say that the opinions expressed by the crowd at these matches are not necessarily endorsed by Mystery Soccer Theater 3000, although we may agree with them from time to time. We are not technically allowed to endorse them, our lawyer said. <laughs> well, that, that's it. We can endorse them. We can endorse certain things that they say, but like the off-tempo, uncoordinated hand clapping thing, not endorsed. It was unmusical. However, the uh, South Slope Blues, heavily endorsed. And there's one right there. Would you like it back? I just leave it. I'm nervous about moving things. Yeah, don't move things. We're not moving things. Never unplug things when things are working. Hey, if you're in Asheville, I'll go West Fest happening all day tomorrow. That's true. West Asheville. They didn't even pay us to say that. We're saying that because we love it. Ari Samson, one of the coolest dudes in town. It's a great, great, Definitely great true. festival. And here's number 20 who has been kind of alone and Dealey's trying to... Oh. Shot by number 11 block. I'm telling you, that dude number 20 weighs twice as much as Tom. I think, if you put him on a scale. <laughs> but he was, but he was trying to. They, he, was, he, was, he was trying to get the ball from him. I mean, it's what he's out there to do. And he did. He did quite fine. Uh, Elma, t Elma took a little knock there, which concerns long, me. Long, long, long shot with no hope of going in. They can do that all day, all day. Number ten, shoot from there, please. A lot of frustration from Silverbacks right now. Yeah. You know, my buddy works at the Atlanta Zoo. I'll bet That's you right. he knows about the silverbacks. He Speaking probably of silverbacks. does. Matt, I know you're not watching, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool clap. I want to play tweezers so bad during set break, but, or set break, whatever, halftime. But we can't do that because they're, they, they, they don't like it when people play their music on YouTube. More possession into the third. Lots of space, lots of space. It's a foul, easy foul. And that is a foul. Another free kick for City. This was in the striking range. We're gonna see a little time taken on this one. means that the silverbacks are gonna no 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 his little hand gesture oh uh was it i didn't see it was he calling he for a direct like this. oh he's saying wait for my whistle oh, saying wait you. for my whistle <laughs> silverbacks are going to form a gorilla wall but i expect that we'll put something on frame here <laughs> might be a goal might be a goal might be a gorilla him with them. It looks like we've got Joshua, Yasha setting up here to try to bend it into the corner. But unfortunately, Sorry, he did not. One. Mm -hmm. 
during the halftime tonight, it'll be the Champion Credit Union Dribble Knockout Challenge once again. 15 lucky fans will have a chance to. Goalkeeper plays it underneath. Silverbacks still back in their defensive half. Thanks to Champion Credit Union. Looks like they're increasingly relying on that direct ball over the top. Nice little piece of skill there. Are still watching the game, everybody. I'm just queuing up the halftime music for you. Another long outside shot by Silverbacks. I'd like to give a shout out to all the dads. Happy oh, Father's is. Day. If you're doing your job, you're taking care of your kids, loving on them, then high five to you. We appreciate you. Raise good people. Happy Father's Day, Josh Blake. Hey, happy Father's Day to you, Derek. Thanks, buddy. So not hanging out with my kids right now, but I love them. I wish they were here. I've got one listening online, so hello, Lila. Wish you were here, buddy. I believe she's saying Happy Father's Day. That's what be. Bill Thompson said. <laughs> Another big this run is Elmo City. breaking forward again. I love watching him on the ball. Yeah, he is really keeps that thing That's with it. him. There's a foul. This might be our first card Thank on uh, Silverbacks. We'll see. He's getting a talking to no card. Another good ball in. Playlist is ready. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a... Look how many people we have back, Josh. Nobody. Look at that. We have a lot of... That's nine. A lot that's of nine fluorescent back in our that's box good. right now. City's playing both ends of the field. I didn't even well. think that was going to stay on the field. That was amazing. That's who we need to watch, number 11 right there. That is Jao Mora. He's on the ball right there, number 11. Responsible for a lot of the Silverbacks' goals recently, but I haven't seen him do too much yet today. To be fair, he's not had a lot of help. <laughs> I'm just trying to make the announcing dynamic. <laughs> and fair for the Asheville City team only. No, um, the Silverbacks are definitely... threatening and becoming more threatening as the game goes on but it's been a bit of a you know a seesaw of a match I'd say so far as far as who's doing what and controlling what out there but nevertheless the scoreboard Elma won Silverback zero and dang that was such a beautiful goal Do we get uh, replays at uh, halftime? We can run replays. We can run that goal like in over and over and over again. <laughs> on a loop? 15 minutes, yeah, on a loop. Just all I have to do is set it, set to loop. You guys want to watch that goal during halftime the whole time? Outside of the right foot over the shoulder. It's pretty I mean, nice. It's pretty, it's pretty unbelievable. Nice. And the ball went out of play for folks at home that couldn't tell. <sighs> we have a lot of space over there on the right if we can get the ball in quickly. There goes Elma. I want to say the Silverbacks defense has already seen Elma squirrel away a few times, so you might want to 
try another angle as they tighten down on him. And that was a thought. I'm just gonna call that a thought. And it really is a beautiful spider web that that spider has built over there in the corner of the press box. I'm so glad I don't see it. Can you see that spider over there? You guys, we might go take a picture of that and throw that into the thing. <laughs> just so you can see nature's beauty all around us. Might be Charlotte. You could throw in a, uh, a spider song. And I hope mix. that, yeah, Yasha. So it looked like Yasha Maybe. was thinking that Parker was coming out for that and quickly realized he wasn't got it out of bounds as we recover here defensively. couple of nice pieces of skill there from Silverbacks player who was you guys there? I'm mm -hmm. excited to report that we got our first thumbs down on our YouTube broadcast <laughs> if you guys didn't know the soccer down here already told you that there would be people online that would be mad about our broadcasts and you know what that's okay it's totally fine with us I bet I knew who that was yeah <laughs> let's make a guess let's guess who that was it's my babysitter it sounds like She's not watching anymore. Yeah, she left. <laughs> I was going to give her twelve dollars an hour. Now it's going to be nine. Somebody says the ref is a homer, which I think is Scottish for something. In America, homer means Simpson. <laughs> is that what it means in Scotland? Can you clarify, Tony? Oh, oh ow, that was elbows up! Ow, wow! Ow! 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 ow elbows up ow, to the ow, head. Ow, that was ow, a terrible ow, foul. Ow, Cameron Saul just took a pretty heavy hit from I number apologize 20. at home. You didn't catch that. He, could, he took a Dionysian-sized hit from Dionysus Harmon, number 20. And it happened right in front of me, so I can tell you that I was nervous about the way his head hit the ground when he landed on his back. I don't, I don't like the elbow up from 20. I think he felt bad immediately. Yeah. He did. Well, Cameron had his head turned back and did not see him coming. And uh, we're not going to play the replay of that because it was not pretty. No, and the ref wasn't looking at that. He has had his back turned. And although the, the clock hasn't stopped, uh, the players are going to the sideline to have a little bit of refreshments and maybe talk to their coaches about what's going on right now. Cameron fell hard. He fell hard. I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I'm nervous about him being hurt as much as his head and his consciousness being okay. Yeah, that was a heavy, heavy hit. I can see him talking back to the trainers. That's good. Yeah. That's good. And he is moving, which is good. So we know his neck and everything is all right. my teammates right there. Adam oh, Adam Stein. I hate playing against that guy. He's it's the tough. worst guy to play against. It's a tough guy. I've taken some hits from him before, too. And Cameron looks like he's sitting up. Good. <laughs> As the players get some last-minute advice, and this will show that we'll have some stoppage time probably added to this half here as uh, Cameron's teammates come over to oh. <laughs> encourage him. So while we're getting, taking a break here, score is one to zero. We got a few more minutes, some stoppage time. You're listening to Mystery, Mystery Soccer, Soccer Theater, Theater 3000. 3000. And that's who we are. What do you want to tell them, Rissa? I want to tell them that tonight... Well, oh, well, Should we run the ad reel while we're waiting? Yeah. Check this out, guys. This is just... We'll add reel for you. Thank you so much to the sponsors. Well, 
half day camps available for four to 14 year old players. Oh, Asheville in the City the Soccer Club end. players will attend camps on <laughs> Friday during three v three right. tournaments. ABY is the last premier part of the recreation ad. soccer program in Asheville. I'm just going to keep running it until we're ready to restart, you guys. Cameron looks like he's heading to the sideline. That might be it for him today. As uh, it looks like we are introducing as soon as he turns around. Go to abysa.org to register. Tonight's Asheville City Soccer ben Chappell is on the brought to you by Diamond Brand Outdoors. Ben Chappell's an Asheville native, ladies and gentlemen, so he's got to be real excited to be playing up here with locations on front of his hometown crowd. All right, so we diamondbrandoutdoors.com. That's right. Love Diamond Brand. So Ben Chappell's here, uh, taking over for Cameron in the middle of the pitch and Really a shame that Cameron had to go out like that because he was having a really good match, in my opinion. And uh, safety I, first. I don't even know why there wasn't a card on that. Ref, referee just definitely wasn't looking at it. But Cameron was, had had been very much instrumental in organizing that back line, midfield, back midfield line, whatever. I really thought we were losing it through the midfield though, as it was coming in. Kenny Anderson races over to the defense. And there is one woman in the crowd who is louder than anyone. Well, I'm impressed she knows everybody's name. She does. I'm like, first name. Yeah. <laughs> Team mom. First name basis. She has uh, orange slices for halftime. She does. We'll be going down for him. Soccer and sweet tea. I oh, like nice. You. Soccer and sweet tea. What's up? Thanks for hanging out with us. I like, we'll, I like both those things. You just made me feel so too. much better about Christine's comments earlier. I've forgotten about Christine now. Thank you, soccer and sweet tea. Yeah, we're doing this for you because we love you for enjoying this beautiful game with us. And at the end of the day, that's all it is. It's a game and we're having fun. We hope you guys are too. What? Do we have any idea what our stoppage time is? Uh, I don't. Four minutes. Four? Was, that, was there already a call on that? Yeah. No, that. that's a tackle. Bobby knows. That's Jack Miller over there. Jack Miller's gonna wanna get a get some vengeance for his boy Cameron, who took a hit from number twenty earlier. Now it's a strong tackle down the corner. That's a Sean. That's a Sean Ryan tackle. I mean, Jack's shown me that he's not afraid of anybody. I think that's why he's our starting left back. Ooh. Shot, yeah, can we please have a card this time, ref? Another talking to. Just these, these guys are like six foot three running over everybody. In our league, we call that getting watershedded. Right? That's a Joel Burgess. Joel Burgess came up with that phrase. Did he? <laughs> yes. I, I think it was everybody on every other team who came up with that phrase. And everybody actually. embraced it. On watershed. Everybody else was like, <laughs> we Water have to play Watershed this week. I'm trying to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Watershedding's not a good thing. No. Friends don't let other friends watershed. No, they don't. <laughs> Ooh, and Elma. Oh, Whoa. Oh, Referee wait, wasn't even no looking. Boot. Again. That's I, I'm pretty angry about that, too. That was a dangerous play. Elma wasn't even, he didn't even have his head down. That guy. Looked like a high boot. And that's a good call by Tom to fall off. All right, All right, let's go. One more before the half. Tell you what, City's been very, very pesky in the middle third. Yes, they have. Really pushing on them, not letting them get any kind of room, any kind of rhythm. Yep, no, they have not. I, I feel like we've kind of controlled the middle of the field, and... Atlanta's strategy seems to be to mostly try to kick it up long the field and score long goals. Long direct balls. Yeah, long direct balls. And <laughs> we, we need to get the ball in to the feet of our captain a little more. I know he's out there doing a lot and doing his job, but when he has the ball, magic things happen. So let's, let's give Ryan Murphy a little more looks here. Right, Tony? 
Murphy. The dash uh -oh. and Kenny Anderson still pressing forward. And I like the way that he's been a little more aggressive moving forward today than the last game, if I can remember correctly. I've been impressed with the speed on that side. And that's halftime, everybody. 1-0 at half the half. 1-0 at the half. Let me play this again. You have been tuning in to us. And we are Mystery Soccer Theater 3000. We appreciate you guys. We miss our homie Scott Reese, who's at home watching. Or not at home. He's up in New York somewhere watching. And uh, we're going to go ahead and throw the ad reel again because that's our job. Tonight's Asheville City Soccer Club live stream is brought to you by Diamond Brand Outdoors. Diamond Brand Outdoors is committed to enriching people's lives by bringing the outdoor lifestyle to the communities that they serve. With locations on Hendersonville Road in the Parkway Center and in the heart of downtown Asheville on Biltmore Avenue. You can also check out their wide selection of products at diamondbrandoutdoors.com. Support for tonight's live stream is also brought to you by Fuel 5.0 Muscle Science. What began as a product in the hands of an entrepreneur originally created for the sickest hospital patients has become a clinically proven solution for defending the athlete's skin and promoting muscle health. Through extensive clinical research, we've discovered our unprecedented formulation with a low pH has a positive effect providing extraordinary benefit in skin and muscle issues. Learn more at www.phuel5.com. And this evening's soccer stream is brought to you by our friends at ABYSA and HFC. ABYSA Fundamental Soccer Camps are available all summer long. Full and half-day camps available for 4- to 14-year-old players. Asheville City Soccer Club players will attend camps on Fridays during 3v3 tournaments. ABYSA is the premier recreation soccer program in Asheville, serving over 3,200 Buncombe and Madison youth players per year. The on-time registration deadline for recreation soccer is June 28th. Programs available for 3- to 18 years of age. Come join a team in your neighborhood. Go to abysa.org to register. We do have the best fans in the country. There's a little GFE for you guys at home. Granola Funk Express. <laughs> The greatest rap bands of all time. I thought it was the great flipping eagle. <laughs> We're getting ready to start the second half here, everybody. So our official uh, attendance is 2,315. Not a bad day. Not a bad day. It's really beautiful out. That rainstorm was crucial. It kind of was. Bring it nice. down a couple notches. It did bring it down a couple notches. And we are getting ready to get underway here as I will get the shot clock ready to go here. Uh, the, not the shot clock, the game clock. And I wonder if we've had any changes at halftime. You guys notice any? Just that late match substitution for Cameron. Yeah. I'm told the chant will be from one side, Asheville, the other side, City. And we're going to try a coordinated chant, I think. The crowd is. It'll be the first time ever. <laughs> I'm not super optimistic, Josh. I'm just going to be honest there. Uh, you know, I'm kind of with you there. Oh, wait, here it goes. <laughs> and there's the Asheville City. We're doing it. City. I think the chant is deafening, Josh. It worked for a minute. You can almost hear it. I can almost hear it. We're going to get it together before the end of the season, I think. Our whole, like, crowd... Our crowd is still, we're all still new to this. Everybody is here. This is a brand new team. 
excited and unorganized the fans are, I think. Yeah, yeah every, there's so much energy, nobody knows where exactly to put it. <laughs> Bad joke, stop it. Why are you laughing? What? I was laughing at the person that just yelled at the top of their lungs, You suck! <laughs> oh, unlucky, Ryan. Um, so, yeah, you know, we do have over 2,000 people here, and I, that is again, uh, pretty again. respectable. It's been consistent. We've had the consistent same amount of people almost. Uh, I think, they, what do you say, 2,300 or something tonight? 2,315 uh, tonight. And that is, I, I don't hate Christian at all for doing that. He needed to interrupt that. We've also momentum. had over a thousand people watching the last few games here in live stream. So thank y'all so much for tuning in. Yeah, like fifteen hundred on the last one or something. Christine. <laughs> uh, she didn't say anything. I'm just, she's, she's, I'm paying attention to her tonight. Are you I think she, smack? I didn't no, no, I'm just right. telling her. I'm just telling her that we have fifteen hundred people, fifteen hundred people watching the broadcast last <laughs> time. It's fifteen hundred. Ask her if Ellis is asleep yet. I'll be home about 10.30. Is that really your babysitter? Yeah. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. And Atlanta pressing forward and the cross that found nobody. That was the cross that found no one. That's, that's the best look they've had here in a long while. The cross that found no, no one is actually a documentary on a young player that never made the any team ever. Um, <clears throat> that's not real. We're just making stuff up. But what I'm not making up is that Asheville leads this game one nothing. for those of you just joining us. And uh, the referee has been under fire from the hometown fans for what might be called a few missed calls. And Kenny Anderson is going to see that ball up, up the line to his teammate, number seven, Christian Soleil. A lot of room here, a lot of room here, a lot of room. Not a bad look from Dealey there. He's the speed. Uh-oh, Elma on a yellow card with a nudge in the back is not necessarily what I'm looking for. <clears throat> that was a, just a tiny water shedding. That's a water shedito. Yeah, water shedito. Ooh. We almost got caught back there for a second as uh, Tom was looking for a little help. Nice ball in, nice ball in. A little uh, confusion there on the side, right side. And I got to say, I think the Asheville City Blues would love to pull off the victory today for everybody and their hometown fans against the first place team. It would be a real statement. That was a nice touch by Brady Blackwell. Dish it off to his teammate That's there, and Christian Soleil, all That's by himself with an acrobatic trap. That was unbelievable, proving why he's been on the starting lineup almost every game um, so far this season. Great ball with Soleil, lay that off, come across Kenny the middle. Anderson with a cross. Plenty of space. Oh. oh, and we found him. Nice little slot on the left side, That's ball back across the middle. And here comes the shot. Shoots in, oh. just over the bar. And Christian with another look. I gotta say, how I gotta many times have you said his name tonight? I don't know, too, a lot, but he's been doing a lot. Plus, he's you know, he's the homie. He's been shouting us out since day one, Christian. So we're gonna give him a lot of love. That was a Plus, great, he plays great for turn. the right team, and it was and it was a great turn. And I think that was like his maybe his third or fourth attempt when he's been in a tight space or had to make a quick decision to get the ball off his foot. And every time he's looking at goal, and I like that. Because one of these times he's going to find it. Some nervous touches by their left back. Another turnover by the Silverbacks. Oh, there's another elbow. Referee missed it again. Are you kidding me? And our captain, Ryan Murphy, goes down for a second. Elbow in the face that the captain of the, it's like the captain of the Asheville City team. Yeah, that's Atlanta Silverbacks. Mr. Garcia. Mitchell Garcia, that was. He was. A great sport right there, realizing he had made a mistake and accidentally knocked Ryan in the face. And we're back at it. Oh, and using his face yet again, Ryan Murphy controlling the ball for Asheville City. 
Slay again to the outside and right. Ball across the middle. The far side, a little strong, a little strong. That's Tom Dealey getting in front of it. Brady Blackwell looking to reset. A lot of pressure City. from City here in the first parts of the second half. And Paul Siri with the clearance. Never really quite controlled the ball there, but. That was like a Justin Purnell clearance. But we still had <laughs> It was, maybe. Except for the other team might have gotten it and scored. Just kidding, Justin. I was teasing. It's a Spocker clearance. <laughs> uh, Spocker having the last laugh winning our division this season. Um, we like it. Go ahead. Keep attacking. We like it when their center back moves out like that because we want Elma to be all alone when we give him the ball. He can beat two or three players, but alone is fine. Oh, there's a Thunderstruck chant happening across the stage. It's like a ACDC in soccer fan incarnate. They may be drinking some coffee powder. Oh, I've never, what? Oh, sorry. I thought the ball was going to bounce back in off the corner flag, and I don't know what actually happens then. It's in play. It's in play. Just like hitting the ref. Yeah. Yes. Thanks for clearing that up for me. Do we have any more high wires over there? No, because we don't drink on air. We would never drink on the job. That was a Pepsi, everybody. Pepsi town. Ooh. Dangerous ball in there. There's a dangerous ball by number 20, Dionysus. Silverbacks earn another corner kick. I would love to see a possession stat. So it looks like it's about a 60-40 game in terms of possession. Yep. Uh, and that's another dangerous ball in. You were supposed to be keep, keeping track of that, Eric. That was your job. We're, you're, oh, the, wait, you're the statistician tonight, aren't I've you? I've got it. It's 60-40. <laughs> Wild shot, easy goal kick. Covered up Jack Miller's number. Yeah, he's three. So shout out to my parents who are listening in Burlington, North Carolina. Oh, really? What up, Allens? Hello, Allens. Thanks for tuning in. Come on, Silver Silverback, says Zar Vandal. And you know what? I respect your love for your team. But it might not be their night. I just want to warn you. They came to Asheville against a sprightly young squad ready to prove themselves against the division leaders. <laughs> High wire graded for the second half. And that's an offside call? Which is a little confusing because that happened like nine hours ago. <laughs> if there's an offside like that long ago, What's the point? Offside yesterday. Stop the play. Wrong game, ref. That was the one you were doing this morning, the U12 game, the ABYSA game. Uh. Anyways. Thank you, Parker, for getting that ball out of our half, which he seemed to do with very little difficulty. As Ryan Murphy comes back to defend. City's a little bit on their heels. And Kenny Anderson with a step and number seven. Muhammad looking for some space. Dangerous ball. Ooh. Now we got some counter room. Uh, and I saw what wanted to happen there, but. It's uh, oh, the same referee. diver. It's the same diver. Yeah, it's McDiver. Mm. Yes, it is. It's Italian <laughs> McDiver. McDiver. I think the new MacGyver fills in Atlanta, so. Yeah. It's so weird with those headphones, the right? Slur it makes is weird, you, I swear. Yeah. The <laughs> first game. The beer. The first game I had those headphones on and I sounded. I have to take them off to talk. Three sheets to the wind. But it was really because there's a delay. Uh-oh. Ooh, and that was a beautiful attempt 
Long shot, but a dangerous shot there. From some unnamed Silverbacks player. Okay. How's our replay guy doing? Oh, he's doing great. Ready for a goal kick for Asheville City here. Let's see, Marissa B is doing oh, a great. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh and he's oh. oh unlucky, Elma. But he he saw his partner Dealey over there waiting yeah. for it. Dealey had plenty of space. That was a nice little look. Just not the institution that either one of them wanted. And again, our the chemist on our team, Ryan Murphy. Look at all the fans, I like it. Wanting to see a little more of the ball in his feet this half, personally. I don't know what's keeping that from happening. Uh, I know he's working what hard out there. What you don't see is there's about three times as many fans on this side of the field. Yep, it's true. Uh, and that's a nice ball forward by the Silverbacks. You see, you see him a little and it's bit. It's going to be offside. I was wondering why he was so open, Josh. He was so open because he was cheating, Derek. Tell you what, guys. Look at this place. We're on top of a mountain in a soccer complex. I know. With mountains behind it. You know, every time I've ever played a game on this field and watched the sunset in the distance, I, it's one of the moments when I have just been the most grateful to be alive. Like running around in a beautiful city in a beautiful environment, playing a beautiful game with some beautiful people. That's beautiful. Unless it was against Catawba. Then we can strike the last comment. Beautiful people. Oh, and Kenny Anderson with a ball to the far post. Uh, I like that ball. I like that ball. Oh. Tom Dealey winning a, a throw. I think that was a smart play by Dealey, but it looks like it was already out of bounds. He was trying to make the throw instead of the goal kick happen. Respect the hustle there, Dealey. He's all try Respect all the time, the Josh. Hustle. What's that? He's all try all the time. Yeah. He's a Dealey try hard. He's my man of the match so far. I mean... He's almost always the man of the match for people. Love to give a shout out to Stephen Carey Dealey. Thank you so much. Watching from New Zealand. Thanks what? for tuning in. Thanks for sending your son this way. Oh, yeah. We don't mind at all. Actually, I would like to exchange myself for Tom Dealey and visit you guys in New Zealand <laughs> if that's cool with you. Never been. I heard that you guys are really into organic food there and hobbits. Into what? Hobbits. And what else? Lord of the Rings, didn't they do that there? <laughs> they did L-O-T-R there, but they also took a loss to Russia today, 2-0. Did they? They did. Dude. Condolences for the loss today. And uh, Sorry about that, New Zealand. But you could definitely gain a commentary crew if you want to fly us there. Because we've heard it's really beautiful. Plus, Lord. Isn't she from New Zealand? Is she Australian? Not necessarily a fan, but I know that she, like, was kind of a big deal at one point. <clears throat> oh, Lord. As Ryan Murphy tries to win the ball back for City, feeling like he's all alone in the pressure he's given to the other team there. Oh, referee. Thank you. Another high boot. High kicks. Good job, boy. High kicks. This one actually called. He's one for three so far. Yep. We're gonna call that a dangerous play and restart the ball. Kenny Anderson trying to work it out the back as we're under a bit more pressure, it seems like the, oh, Ryan Murphy trying to control it for us and at least keeping it in bounds. Good effort. It's a good ball, unfortunately. Mm, he was off, I think, but I don't even think the ref saw that that guy was off. Even the people in the crowd were like, he's off. Everybody had their hands up. Oh, and that was a nice nutmeg by Kenny Anderson. Oh, what a ball. Nice it. ball. Let and now run. Ryan Murphy has a space I wanted him to have. Let's get him. Oh, and Elmo with a beautiful turn. Oh. It's a great save by the keeper. Four with a shot at near post by the keeper. Lots of space. Way to keep watching All the lanes were open. Yasha getting the ball out. And a little, little, little game of hugsies in the center of the pitch there. A wrestling match with uh, yeah. Flopper McFlopperson. Yeah. Surprised he didn't go down. 
I heard that guy was married to Minnie Diver. Oh. <laughs> Do you use that every game? No. <laughs> the fans are not happy. <laughs> That's okay, because if this soccer thing doesn't work out for number 10, he can always get an acting role. They're going to have a new uh, play opening in Atlanta, Diving Miss Daisy. <laughs> Sorry. How many of these do you have? I don't know. It's endless. We're just going to keep doing them all night. What's your favorite Van Halen album? <laughs> What is it, Derek? Diver down. <laughs> All right. Christian getting up, but not as up as number 15 for the Silverbacks. Midfield for both teams has been absolutely <laughs> non-existent for the last five or six minutes. You're right. You're right about that. Except for Tom Dealey, who just got his foot on the ball. Uh, but again, it was just kicked back to the defense there. There hasn't been a lot of connection, but I think the uh, instructions, it seems like, for the Silverbacks was to try to press a little bit harder defensively. I think likewise that City has, oh. uh, and City gives up a goal. I was just going to say. City was sitting back. I think City's been sitting back for the last couple of I was just going to say the crowd is silent him. now. But uh, when I saw him beat two and then three players there, who was that, number seven? By the time by the time I saw him beat the third player, I was pretty sure he was going to take a shot, and that's what happened. So we're back. We're going to get back at it, everybody. But that was the replay for you. And the Silverbacks have now tied it up, and that will be one-one. And so we should have an exciting finish here, everybody. Equalizer from uh, number seven, Muhammad Kamara. Muhammad Kamara. Is he one of the guys we we're supposed to be worried about? Nope. Dang it. My first car was a Camaro, though. Oh, nice. 85, <laughs> special edition. <laughs> oh, no. oh, there's a foul. Oh. Another no foul again in the box. That's a tough one. And there's Ryan the Murphy being smart about it. So Elma tried to make something happen for us in the box there a second ago. Was it unable to? And Christian Soleil almost in in the back post there. A nice piece of skill from number 18. It's the Silverbacks attempt to prove to this Asheville City crowd why they're on top of the division. But I don't think the Blues are having it. One thing I do want to say about the NPSL so far that I've enjoyed is that all the matches have been really well contested. I don't think I've seen any blowouts. It looks like a handball. For the most part, the team the teams are pretty evenly matched. That's more on the ball there. That's one we are supposed to keep an eye on. And Parker Siegfried, no problem for him. Who was that? More uh, uh, the ball the ball in number eleven. That was one of the guys we're supposed to worry about. Very Slytherin esque is coming across the crowd right now. Ooh, as Tom Dealey gets another shot off, we're going to look at it. The goal They're kick. Having he, a hard time he's not happy about that. Dealey is this. very, very You're adamant that it was a corner kick. Fans. For the Atlanta Silverbacks, game number 19, Andrew Shepard. And a cloud has rolled into the stadium, everybody. That's just, Yo, Bob, that's just Bobby again. 
Thanks, thanks for watching, Sar. I, I hope I said your name right, Sar Vandal. But yeah, we appreciate you too, man, even though your team just scored on us and we could hate you for that. We're just gonna love you for joining us and enjoying the beautiful game. I just wanna love you. Um, but it's exciting. This is the first time that Asheville City has faced the Silverbacks, so there's that. Substitution for Asheville City. If and SARS listening, is uh, the Silverbacks, is that the same uh, club Buckfield. system that produces their over 40 team? I don't know, but I I bet. You can imagine. Do they have a over 40 team that comes up here for Beer City Cup? They, they, they have for years and years. Wait. I, believe, I believe that's who we beat in the finals a couple years ago from uh, when we played uh, Asheville Hotspurs. Oh, Mitch Bofield back on the on the pitch. Mitch Bofield. Actually, I think you guys at the beginning of the stream, I'm gonna go ahead and correct myself. I think Mitch was the one who had the red card a couple a couple weeks ago. Here we go. Here we go. Not Spring him. Spring him. Spring Brady him. Blackwell. Sorry about that, Brady. I'm gonna go ahead and look that up just because I don't want to. I don't want to be wrong again. Man. And the crowds are getting rowdy here, folks. The intensity of the game on the field has picked up here. And this is this the, the last goal. We've got a long way to go, too. We've got another 30 minutes. This is the match report minutes. I was looking for. Um, yeah, I was right. I mean, I was wrong, and now I'm right. So, Brady, sorry. Brady did not have a red card. I said something about that at the beginning of the game. Um, it's actually Mitch Botfield who we're welcoming back to the pitch for Asheville City after taking a game off uh, for a red card against, I believe it was Nashville. Very good piece of skill. Oh, and there's another foul. That's got to be a card. One ref, time. when are you going to pull the card out, ref? When are you going to pull it out? Plus, if we want to play it quick, what? Right now would be a great time for one of those super sick goals on a, on a, on a free kick. Remember the game I was telling you about? Brenner scored two goals from right there. Does that hurt a little bit? It does. It's bringing up painful memories for sure. The unofficial count from the statistician is that that's three elbows and no cards. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Allen, ladies and yeah. No, no, that was a text message from my dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Somebody's keeping track, at least. It looks like we've got Mitch Bofield over the ball here. Three points. Three points. And that's another three points for Asheville City. Can we go ahead and put three points up on the scoreboard? This is a substitution for nah. Silverbacks. And the game number 72, come on, Brown. Yes, yeah, I'm not sure what happened to the Silverbacks, but you can look at it on Wikipedia because that's where I learned a lot about them before this game. Pretty much everything I know about them I learned on Wikipedia and their website. But um, I do know that, yeah, they were an NASL team, and it was a – uh, they, they were pretty successful. In fact, the Silverbacks, I think, m made it pretty far in the U.S. Open Cup at one point, maybe even to the semifinals or something. This is all from a very vague memory that I that I own in, in between my ears. But they definitely have had a lot of success as an NASL team. And I think it was really a shift in ownership. Um, I think the club actually lost its NAS. Okay, I'm remembering things now. Lost its NASL status in uh, 1995. That's some great, no, 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 great 2015 or something like that. Looking for a turn now. How's that for facts? All, over, ball. all over the what map. Ball. Oh. Referee's calling for a goal kick there. I, I'm, I'm thinking that he didn't know. Don't quit your day job, referee, somebody just, <laughs> just stated. The natives are restless, Josh Blake. I know, they are restless. Can you hear the drums drumming? There are drums drumming. 
Um, I want to find this fact. Factoids. <laughs> In 2014, in the U.S. Open Cup, Silverbacks actually defeated Real Salt Lake and the Colorado Rapids to make it to the quarterfinals where they lost to the Chicago Fire. Those are all... Silverbacks deep those into Those are all City. MLS teams. Like, in 2014, Real Salt Lake may have even been the MLS champions. I, I don't remember champions by year, but I know they were really hitting it hard for a minute. And... Uh, they, they, they uh, basically were looking for a new owner. Oh, there's a tackle. And they couldn't find a new owner after a pretty successful 2014 season. And they were actually had their, uh, their franchise ship for NASL suspended because they couldn't find a new owner, and that's how that went down. I don't really know the inner workings of how you maintain your membership. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to guess it has something to do with money. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and agree with you on that. <laughs> and, and, and I think that uh, they basically couldn't keep it up in the NASL, and so here they are playing with us. Look at this. Little old Asheville Look at City. This. Elma will not give up up, up top there. But it's pre that's pretty interesting that, like, in 2014, they were beating MLS teams, and then they couldn't find an owner. And uh, anyways, that's what's going on there. All right. So as the clock keeps ticking, we've got about – a little over 22 minutes left in this half. Not including stoppage in this 1-1 affair. As Kenny Anderson keeps the ball in play for City. And Christian wins the throw. Peter Siegfried asking about uh, high wire distributing outside of Asheville. Absolutely, yes. All over the state of North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and Ohio. Oh, and I think that might be all of it. A little bit of an overambitious. A little bit of a choppy game here to last a uh, little bit here, Josh. Another free kick for City. I'm trying to place who number 12 is on our team. Ben Chapel. Chapel. Ben Chapel, who came on for Cameron when he got hurt. Ben had a nice run forward there before he lost the ball a minute ago. And now we have a silverback needing a veterinarian. As the Atlanta team pulls a trainer onto the field. You guys, today's match was brought to you by ABYSA and HFC. Which is an incredible organization supporting the youth's ambition to play soccer in our greater community here in Asheville, North Carolina. And we really want to thank them for supporting this live stream. And Anybody who lives in the area that wants to get their kids involved, make sure you sh shout at them. ABYSA.org is where you go. They got summer camps. They got all kinds of things happening there. Plus Diamond Brand Outdoors, another great local company, spreading the love of the outdoors across the community. And of course, Fuel. And we're getting ready for a set piece here by Asheville City. Somehow, the Atlanta player ended up on the ground, but we got the call, <clears throat> which I don't mind. We'll get the back post loaded. Looks like it's going to be a far side ball. And far ball. we got Jack Miller behind the ball here. Uh, I've seen Jack Miller uh, against Knoxville force away, put a ball into the box that Elma got to finish with his head. It was beautiful. And that's it's good ball in. just about how you want it. Mm -hmm. 
And we can expect the game to get a little more physical here in the closing moments as we look at about 14 minutes left in regulation. And more dragonflies trying to hang out with us in the press box. Tom Siri with the educated move there, letting the ball roll back to his keeper and letting the team reset. It's a little header, header dummy by Silverbacks. Yeah. You don't see that very often. And Tom Siri getting up well against number seven. Mohammed Karma. Here's Dave Turner, goalkeeper legend of Asheville, North Carolina. <laughs> yep. I thought you meant on the field. <laughs> and that's a great ball wide for Ben Chappell, who was unfortunate to lose ben, it right after he brought it down. Ben Chappell looks a little banged up there. He is moving a little slower than the rest of the team, and though he came on late, now's the time when we want our players to give it everything. Little referee. contact and no call, goal kick. Christine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's a lot of weaknesses on the. Paige Campbell, watershed legend. Welcome down the steps. At times. Paige Campbell, okay, Carolina, Paige Campbell color here, tone. He's not one of them. I'm pretty sure that woman has no shirt on over there. David Bud Kerber, defense attorney. There's a woman walking away without a shirt on. Unless she's, I don't know what she's doing. You can actually go topless. Yeah. yeah I don't know if it's in North Carolina or just Asheville. No, yeah. no, no. It's, it's not against law. You're fine. No, you're good. fine. People are fine to do that. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's law or not, but. It's okay with you? <laughs> oh, no, no. It, it was just a different, it was a weird shirt. She just didn't have a back on their shirt at all. All right, anyways. And in game number 23, Fabio Fernandez. Fabio Fernandez, number 23, replacing Adnan Bangura, number six. Fernandez for Bangura, 79th minutes. Guy Noon. Yeah, I have no idea why... Uh, we're not wearing blue for a home game. We're, but we're, I do say that our team looks good in, in these uh, fluorescent kits. But the, yeah, these are certainly our away kits. Deep in our spot, I think long it, clearance. I think it doesn't really matter. Kind of the best looking team in the NPSL, I think. It's actually been officially voted on and <laughs> We can wear whatever color we want, apparently. Still be the best looking team in the league. But yeah, we do have blue jerseys. In fact, the stadium is littered with them because if you have a blue jersey on, you get to come into the games for free. You buy the team's jersey and here you are watching every home game for free. Probably every away game too, maybe. Not sure how that works for away no, games. Probably not. Josh, your blue jersey looks nice. It does, you know why? got an IMABL logo on the back. I see that. Yeah. It also has a high wire one on the front and specialized Actually, physical therapy also on the back. Asheville. And uh, hand yeah, for those of you that don't know what IMABL is, that's us. We broadcast these home games, but we also broadcast tons of music. We really are just music people and soccer fans. And if you go to our website, IMABL.com, you can check out live shows from Asheville. We live stream almost every night of the week, something that's happening in one of the venues here. And there's thousands of shows in the archives for you guys to check out too. So, It is a huge service to the community of Asheville and the music community in particular, and we appreciate you putting our shows up. Thanks, Derek. A couple of Stup Month shows on there from yeah. Orange Peel, yeah. uh, Digfest, some yeah. other ones. Yeah, yeah. 
And we were actually out at All Go West today filming some of that so we can post that for people next week. And, yep, really doing our best to blow up the music scene here. And now we're doing our best with Mystery Soccer Theater 3000 to blow up the soccer scene, too, on the interwebs and having too much fun while we're doing it. A little too much fun while we're doing it. While we're Christine. talking about IMAVL, let's talk about Echo Sessions. You can go on our website, imavl.com, and look up Echo Sessions. That's our in-studio production. Also, a television program airing all across the state. Season 2 is coming out in September. We bring bands into the studio. Live in-studio production. It's not fair. No. We were both just talking about how nice your voice is, Rissa. You should do the talking for the rest of the game. Thank you so much. Oh, it's delicious. Ours is terrible. Uh-oh. Ball in. Another corner kick Another for City. Another corner kick for us. Whoa, fiasco. Slow down there, buddy. Last 10 minutes are going to be intense. Don't blow up our spot. First of all, Asheville's not big enough to have a mob yet. But if it was, <laughs> you might be right, okay? But we're not. And we're also not Italian enough to be a mob. And we're just kind of a big town, as you mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are other activities that IMAVL participates in, but they mostly are surrounding an Xbox and a game called FIFA. Who do you play as? We can give a shout out to our buddies at Fiasco Pictures. Yes, we can. <laughs> David you should Sage. just check out their website because they make really incredible videos. <laughs> and you don't really know what I'm talking about. Until yep. you, if you guys until go you to, check it out. If you guys go to the Asheville City website, you can see a fiasco pictures. Uh, it's called From In the Beginning, and it's it's a beautiful piece that David put together for the club. All right, people are getting pumped game. about this corner. We have this new thing about David Sage where we start using him as a thing like... Hey, Marissa B, you smell this? Sorry? You smell this? It smells like a goal. It smells like a goal. Nope. Must have been Bobby. Here, let me give you an example of how we use David Sage's name. Did you see that goal that Elma scored earlier, you guys? That was the David Sage of goals. <laughs> totally. Like, the Beatles are the David Sage of rock and roll. <laughs> Think about it. Maybe Led Zeppelin. I don't know. Maybe Fish. Depends on what you like. Anyways, we love you, David. So what Beatles album is the David Sage of Beatles albums? Of Beatles albums? I would go with either Rubber Soul, Revolver, or The White Album, or Abbey Road. So it's, it's Abbey Road for me. <laughs> it's Abbey Road for me. You Sorry. picked four. You picked four. <laughs> I can't. I can't not. Um, At my house, we do Beatles Sundays. Abbey Road is my favorite. Do you really? Yes. Every Sunday. That'd be a lot of fun. Well, there's, uh, isn't Octopus Garden on Abbey Road? No? You don't remember? I was going to say because you have kids, and the kids love that song. I know it's, look, I know it's the most, uh-oh. What a, a turn. turn. Wow, Beautiful turn, turn by number seven. Mohammed. I think he turned it onto his non-dominant foot, I'm just saying. Yeah. Couldn't shoot. No, couldn't shoot. He can turn, but he can't, could not shoot on that one. It's like me turning to my left. I can't shoot. <laughs> just making a move back to the right. Wait, you can't turn left? No, 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 oh, I can no turn left. I just can't shoot left. I wasn't in a close-up. No. That was unnecessary. Or can I? I don't know. Maybe you're just trying to make me think that now for next time we play against each other. But I don't normally play defense, so you're fine. Oh, I, didn't, I wasn't not a fan of that call. What's that movie called with the supermodels with Owen Wilson and uh, Ben Stiller where you can't can't turn left? Oh, let's get the ball out, City. I don't like the box. It's a dangerous uh, ball into the box by the Silverbacks. Another corner kick for Silverbacks. And these set pieces, corner kicks, we... we we don't like seeing these because the Silverbacks team is tall, but they chose to play it short. And now they're going to play it in. Back stick. And that's another, another corner. Another corner kick, far side. We we're winding down in the finishing minutes of, of this match here, folks, with only a, only a few minutes left in regulation. 
Although we can expect a little stoppage because of the right, couple go. injuries. You have, a, you have a prediction on stoppage time. I'm going to go with four minutes again. I think four minutes is the only number they have on the clock over there. So we're pretty safe. You know, it's the MPSL. We couldn't afford the three minute or the two minute block, like the little digital board. Zoolander, yeah, you're Zoolander. Thank you. I love that movie. Anyways, it's really, really, really good looking. Derek Allen is like the Derek Zoolander <laughs> <laughs> of the ABASA, and <laughs> that he can't shoot with his left. Because Derek Zoolander can't turn left. All right, that was a long way we went for that joke, but thanks for sticking with me on that, Zar. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Looks like City's going to have a free kick in a very dangerous spot late, late in the game. And that is Jackson Allen, who was just fouled there, ladies and gentlemen. He must have he came in for our uh, captain a little while ago. That's Ryan Action Murphy. Jackson Allen. Yep, he is actually Action Jackson Allen because he's the one who comes to the Funk Jam. I wonder if he's going to come next Tuesday, this Tuesday after the game. We should ask him. Not we should. Now. We should. If they win, I bet he'll come. I want the whole team to come, but it's going to be kind of ridiculous this Tuesday. And here comes a free kick for City. You going near post or far post? Far post. Looks like super oh. far post. Like corner flag. Far, far, far post. Yeah. Another foul. Another foul. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do this again from the opposite side. Hey, there's another Blues, Asheville Blues film coming up soon. Big shout out to the Fiasco DP Ben Mulkey. Yep, he's he's here. out here right now he as is. we speak. Yeah, he's flying a drone Boom. around and everything. He's he's the David Sage of drone flying. <laughs> wow. You're going to ride that forever, aren't you? We're riding it until it, it's totally overused and nobody can stand it anymore. Almost in the corner flag. It's like we're going to have it. An outswinger. Dos minutos. Yep. Oh. And that corner didn't work out so well for us, but Jackson Allen with some pace hustling back. He's everywhere. He is. A lot of room on this right side. And there he is again. Oh, unlucky. Eighty ninth minute. Both teams desperate for a goal, desperate for three points. Everybody's desperate. I'm Basically. desperate. For another high wire. Are you? Because yeah. I think we have some more of these goose things or whatever they call them. Goose. And Elma wins the ball again. Oh, to win. That guy is so good on the ball. It's no wonder he won NPSL Player of the Week a few weeks ago. Let's go, Tom Dealey wasn't going up for that. Couldn't Long ball for Secret. Out of his reach. Into the trees. Uh-oh, that's a bad place to lose the ball. And what's the call? Where's the foul, referee? Because there's a couple bodies, one for each team that got knocked over there. Probably easy foul going back our way on that when one, we're Josh. Down, we're, yeah, it looks like we're about to head into stoppage time, folks, and let's see if we can squeeze one in here. Don't say it, Derek. Just thinking it just because I smiled. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has indicated there'll be an additional five minutes. Oh, five. Oh, Dang. Time. They bought a new clock. Extra soccer. Five minutes. Extra soccer. I love that Dr. Pam picked up that we are uh, Mystery Science Theater-esque. Yeah. With the Mystery Soccer Theater 3000 Well, comment. wait till they see the logo that we're about to throw at the end of this game. It's going to blow your mind. My mind's already Look blown. at that. Look at that. A lot of pace on the left side. Jackson Allen getting forward for us and couldn't get to it in time. Corner kick. It's another corner kick for the Blues. And here comes Tom Siri and Joshua, our center backs, moving forward to try to knock this one in with their noggins or whatever else they can get on the ball. As our statistician, this is not official, but I think corner kicks are 97 to 3 City. Oh, 
Here we go, Blues. Oh. Jack Miller with a smart ball what out wide, and I ball. think he offsides. was offside, so he knew it. Let it go. Yeah, I still think that was a smart ball. Corner tag, two on six. Rissa. You gonna go grab some interviews after this game? I kind of think you should do the interviews this game. Me? I've been over here working this part. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I'm really good on camera. You have a face for radio. I definitely have a face <laughs> for broadcasting, radio, and oh, that was a nice ball in by the Silverbacks, but defended well by Asheville City. The hopeful ball forward. And we still have another three minutes left here to make something, make a victory happen here for the Blues. And <clears throat> we all know Billy T. We all know. And that's why Riss is going to go grab some interviews after the game. Hopefully, with a, a game winning goal scorer. Plenty of space, plenty of space. Pace on the right side. Little support. Tries to slide it in. Oh, Jackson City, taking it side. Deep to the left side. Good ball in, Ooh. nobody on the back side. That was great work by Jackson Allen. Great ball through. There's nobody there on the back side. The Silverbacks have been throwing a lot of elbows this evening. That's all I know. Unofficial count of seven. Yep. The Atlanta elbow backs. And Elma gets free. Ironically with an elbow, there's a foul. There's a foul. I gotta say, Late in the game, this might be the last game. Really this might be it right here. I really wish there was a statistician because these Silverbacks are now turning into poor sports. And at the end of the game, there, that was just a little bit of a poor sportsmanship. Although number 18 has the captain for the Silverbacks has been a great sport the whole game, and I've actually really respected his playing style too, man. He's been killing it. You can tell he's an elder on the squad the way he's been carrying himself. But there's also a lot of. Uh, Sort of youthful, aggressive energy, unwarranted. And now it has caused a free kick for Asheville City in a dangerous place in the closing moments of this exciting match. What would you do, Josh Blake? Would you go on frame or you go set this ball up? I would probably pass it to myself and then dribble it in. Score. Ball in. It's a oh! oh, my goodness, folks. Header back across the goal. Out for a goal kick. What a ball in. What an effort. That would have been an epic close to the game right there. And let's watch the replay real quick. Everybody in the stadium thought that was going in. But alas, we're in the final minute for sure. Our clock stops at 49 minutes because we thought they only had four minutes of stoppage time on the clock they bought, so we only bought the 49-minute clock for our scoreboard. <laughs> so next week, we're going to upgrade to the 50-minute clock for you guys, just on in the, case. On the App Store. Yep, on the App Store. Oh, thank you, Mitch, for winning that header. Kenny Anderson defending well. Tom Siri with a great clearance. And Atlanta with a corner kick. Late, late, late. Late, 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 late. There could not be much left. Yeah. I think he should might want to blow the whistle while the ball is in the air on this one. If he's being true to the clock. That's a Tom Perry move. Worst ref in Nashville. Yeah. Doesn't he play for you guys? Yep. 
And that's defended well. And that's the and game. And that's the game. See? And that's game, everybody. That is game. Um, stick around, everybody. Good effort by the home squad. Pull the, off a point. The lovely Marissa B is going to go down and get some interviews with. Hey, Marissa, did you figure out where you needed to from? One. Oh, wait, it's not over yet. Now it's over. That and one more elbow me. by the silver elbow. Was there more by the silver elbows? Or was it the elbow silver backs? elbows or elbow backs? I think elbow backs is better. I think we should be the elbow backs next game. Just start throwing them back. Well, in Nashville, it's called water shedding. <laughs> What's up, man? Next time, the... Uh, there will be a next time, and I think it's like next weekend or something that we go there to play. It should be equally as thrilling, and I hope that our team entertains you guys just as well. Shout out to Sara. Thanks for being a good sport. Good game to you as yeah. well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, everybody, for staying tuned online. You have been tuned in to Mystery Soccer Theater 3000. Thanks for the comments on the live chat. Uh, Christine, I'll be home in about 30 minutes. Put the bill up and uh, give you your check. <laughs> Thanks for watching the boy. And this live broadcast has been brought to you by Diamond Brand Outdoors, Fuel, and HFC and ABYSA. And I am going to play a song for people, and let's see what it wants to be. Uh, 